guys, good morning. Welcome to Vince Vlog. Well, uh, first of all, I want to uh, say good morning and uh, bless you all. Okay, so before anything else, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so we're always updated to our channel. So today, uh, we're going to do a uh, troubleshooting. Uh, this is uh, what we call the breaker uh, uh, fail to close. So previously, I have already uh, vlogged this one, but that is uh, the part of uh, synchronizing. And uh, you know, uh, in, in, in that point, uh, that one is uh, where I am explaining also. But uh, typically, that one is more on uh, synchronizing. But today, I will focus on that. Uh, and that uh, troubleshooting and that problem so we can easily uh, do and correct the, the the problem that we have so uh, I will give you the steps and the process which will make you easy to do the troubleshooting in this case okay so for now I will show you first the, the trouble of this generator so as you can see what is the problem? So let's start. So guys, I will start again this generator. So I will show you the real problem of this uh, generator. So by the way, I will start for now and focus this module so you can see what is exactly the problem. So now let's start. You see that our uh, alarms for now is breaker uh, fail to close. So now let's uh, check our uh, breaker and then I will open it and uh, one by one we will check what is the problem. So first thing you have to check is uh, the relief if it is working or not or if it is uh, uh, in a good uh, condition. So we will we'll remove this one and then I will check if this one is uh, okay so for now i will check the resistance of the holding towel so if this one is okay so we have uh, the reference for that so our holding coil is uh, 2 and 10 so this one is okay so they have the resistance so this one is Okay, so for now, I will uh, check if uh, there is some uh, voltage uh, for this early output. So first thing, I need to open first the breaker. So let's see what is going on, okay? So now guys, I will start uh, to open the breaker. So I will show you. Uh, what is uh, the things we need, were needed to check if the problem is like this so first remove the all the bolts
So for a while, I will just put it down here so I can remove the rest of the parts of this breaker. So second is removed from here. the cover so guys this one is your uh, UVR so this is your under voltage only really. so this is the one will uh, make for your uh, breaker trip point so this is the one will trigger for your trip so, first thing if in order to check easily this is uh, we're doing the shortcut way so we remove this one in order so you can uh, on and off the breaker. So we remove the bolt. So as you can see, I will try to up the breaker. Now you can up and off. I mean on and off. So, for example, I will put this one and I will try to on the breaker. It just goes to trip because this uh, solenoid will make you trip the breaker because there is no supply and our generator is in stop mode. So, if I remove this one, I can on and off. So why we remove this uh, solenoid uh, for uh, the trip point because in order to check our auxiliary contact because this is the one who will make the feedback to our module so it can understand if the breaker is closing. So now we will check if uh, why our generator or why our breaker is failed to close. So now we will check this one. and. Uh, resistance so for example our breaker is closed now I'm going to uh, on so this one having a normally closed and normally open contacts here so we are using the normally open so once the, the breaker is on so the contacts inside will become closed so it will give feedback to your module so by the way this one have the relief for that point it's supposedly if it is closed it will give a uh, supply for your relay so this is the relay bro can you help me <laughs> so now guys i am uh, close this breaker in order to uh, close the auxiliary contact so once it is closed supposedly uh, we have uh, the tester here so we need to put it in the voltage so in order to check the voltage so this is the second thing you have to do if there is some voltage now I will take this one because this 14 is uh, switching inside from your uh, breaker auxiliary so if this one is positive so I will take uh, the negative from here so this is the holding coil so this is so there is no supply guys so we need to check why there is no supply this one so again from here so since there is no supply so we're going to check if this one will uh, contact properly, so I will open it. Where is my drill? Where are you? And somebody took that one. Ah, okay. I will use this one. 
So we will open this uh, auxiliary contact so we can check uh, properly. So So we use the connections for the contacts is uh, 14 and 11 so this is your uh, normally open your 14 and 11 so once I press this one supposedly you have a supply from that point so. okay so now I will uh, open this one and put this relay so if I press this one if I press this supposedly that really will active so let's try so it's not active because if it is active it will come red here so if I press so it's not active so meaning there is no supply so first thing we need to check where is the supply is given from this relay so it is only uh, switching the sides in order to close this one if the breaker is on so let's see where is this supply so I will put it back this uh, connection from here so this is not the problem only the supply is the problem okay so I will tighten it back So, if you are removing these parts, uh, you should uh, familiarize which one you are uh, removing or which one you are uh, going to fix it back. Because don't forget the rest of it because it will give you some problem. So now I close this one because this is not the problem here. So I will... Uh, Put this one, our solenoid. Broken <laughs> <laughs> It's hard. Oh my god, we lost the other bolt. Uh, uh, so, we're going to tie this one properly, making sure it will not damage. Is the other okay. So, okay. So, okay. And then next is you have to cover this one back. Make it sure it's all uh, arranged properly. So, we have to check where it should be. Okay. It's not fitted. So, that's it. So, next is this one. So, you can put the rest of the bolt. Insert these things, don't forget to insert that one, and then next is our uh, motorized. So, what was that? There's some bolts falling down, I think. Yeah. 
So make sure you have to press it off first before you insert it so it's not difficult for you to install it back. So okay that's it. So we're going to put the bolt and Okay. So now I'm going to tight first this here so it's not pulled down and then the rest. Okay. Down here we have uh, some bolt also. Okay. Now it's uh, fully intact. So before that, I will check it here. Where's this uh, supply is going from this release? So where did take it from that? So I will check it by multimeter. So we can check where is the connections that one. So since this one is. Uh, Holding coil, so this 14 is the holding coil, so we have already the negative, so this is will be positive. So we will check that one where is this positive connected from here, so this is here is the 14. So we will find out where is the connection this one. So 14, 11, so 11 is the main source for your auxiliary. So where is this 11, 11, so okay, so this is here 11, so we will check it if this one is correct. So this is the one is correct. So now I will make some supply in order to fix our problem. So Not inserting. Okay. So we put only the link for that. So once the breaker is closed, and also your uh, auxiliary contact will be closed because that one is normally open. So if it is the breaker is closed. So it will give feedback to your relay. So from here it's going this one, so it will be closing during our breaker is on. So let's check now what will happen. So we put already the link for uh, the positive, so it will have the positive also. So let's try it. Okay. So. Uh, for now, we are already ready, so I will start this generator, so inshallah, that is only the problem, so I will start. Okay guys, we found out the problem. So now the breaker is working. So we tried to close and open the breaker. So it is working now. So only the remaining problem is, uh, I mean, only the problem is, uh, there is no supply for your uh, auxiliary contact, which is going to your relay in order to active. So for example, I close the breaker. So the breaker is 
in the closed positions and the auxiliary is also in the uh, closed position so it will give positive directly to your relay so it will also active okay so as you can see there is no fault alarms happen for now so we are succeed for our troubleshooting only the supply is uh, not there so okay so okay guys uh, that relay I've been uh, shown to you in the panel that is the what we call the breaker close auxiliary so what is the function for the breaker close auxiliary that is the purpose of uh, for example your breaker is uh, automatically closed so that is the feedback uh, the give negative uh, feedback to your uh, module in order to identify that the breaker is in the close position so and uh, you have to do the program for that one for the generator close auxiliary so that is the functions for our relay and that is uh, the total uh, functions for that so i hope you understand for that uh, little explanations for you so you can uh, understand and uh, troubleshoot this kind of problem so i hope uh, it is clear for you that uh, it's simple to understand what is the functions and what is the problem uh, in that kind of uh, alarm so okay so you know guys doing uh, this kind of troubleshooting there are uh, a lot of options that can make you in this kind of faults first is sometimes the relay is not working and then the supply as a happy now today you have to double check that one and the auxiliary contact which is that is necessary for your uh, uh, switching for uh, your coil okay so if you check that one one by one and you found out that which one is the problem then that is easy for you to understand what is going on and understand how you can fix it back in the correct way so as of now we're done so I'm going to fix it back the cover so we are going to do our load testing so once again don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification so you're always updated and once again Vince Blog is here thank you for watching and see you again in my next vlog bye bye